I do your money low coming. A quasi call you. A jomu feki bubo you subscribe to Sunday akonde TV. I want only a missy. Till then she okon your payasi alone one be. If I may ask you, my dear, what are your prayer points? Just thanking God. <laughs> um, I promise, read verse 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. Uh, peace. What do you think that means? Men should watch where they walk, stand and sit. They should be careful always. Daddy, it is not only men. Women, girls and boys should always be careful. You are right, promise. Um, what are they to be careful of? They should be careful of what cancel all advice they take, which friend they associate with. Good, good. Uh, peace. They should not join others. Very good. Then, what is sin? Sin is disobedience to God. It includes lying, stealing, fighting. Gossiping and telling falsehoods about others. Sin is disobedience to God. Sin includes disobedience to parents and the use of abusive and insultive language. Bad thoughts are also examples of sin. Good. Good. I am glad we all got the idea. But children, I still want thoughts to look closely at the later part of that verse 1. What does it say? Or sit in the seat of mockers. Please note that. It is very, very important. What did I say? It is very important. Do not join others to mock or make jests of other people. Why? Because Mocking is sin. A long time ago, some children saw the prophet Elisha passing by. He had a bad age. I do your money, low come. A quasi call you. A jomu feki bubo you subscribe to Sunday akonde TV. I want only a missy. Till then, she okon your payasi alone one be. If I may ask you, my dear, what are your prayer points? Just thanking God. Elisha <laughs> was the prophet of God who took over from Elijah. He did not have plenty of air, like the average Jew did. Jews often thought that those who were bad did not have strength. They believed that much air was a sign of strength, and not having much air was seen to mean not having much strength. Eliza was walking on the road from Bethel. As he walked, alone. Some youths came out of the town and jeered at him. Where are you going? I don't know. At least it's in Bethel. Maybe he's going to Samaria. God of you, God! God you, God! God of you, God! God of you, God! Elisha turned Land looked at them 
and cause them in the name of the Lord. May God deal with you according to his word. Then, two bears came out of the bush and mowed 42 of the youths. Hmm. How sad for those children and their parents. I will never join people to make just of anyone again. And me too. Me too. <laughs> um, take note. It is only keeping in touch with God's word that can make you to keep this promise. You have to love and meditate in God's word. Um, read verse 2 for us. Promise. On his law, he meditate day and night. As you all go to school, as you play around with your friends, as you attend lessons and so on, you need to remember to meditate on the word of God. You have to meditate on God's word. Because it is only God's word that can help you not to join sinners because the pull of sin is very strong and great. What does medicate <laughs> Peace, not medicate. It is meditate. We oh, yeah, are say it after me. Meditate. 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 <laughs> it means to think about the Bible and what the Bible says all the time. You know, the same way you spend a lot of time thinking about your toys, about the food you want to eat, and the games you like to play. We will think a lot about God's ways and obey it. We have great blessings. First three tells us some of what those blessings are. Victoria Lady for us. It is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it does, it prospers. Oh, I know that song. I actually have started in school. I am planted by the streams of water, which yields I am planted by the rivers and watered by the Lord. The Holy Spirit leads me and me my comfort. I am planted the water by the Lord. Good singing. <laughs> you see, when we think and meditate on God's word, His Holy Spirit will lead and direct us. We will then be like a tree planted by the riverside that does not experience any form of dryness, even though it fails to rain. Ah. It is 6.45 already, and you will have little time to prepare for school if we stay too long. Um, but I thank God that we have been able to share the word of God together as a family. Um, promise. I want you to memorize verses 1 and 2. No, Victoria, memorize verses 1 to 3. And peace, darling, I want you to memorize verse 1. Uh, <laughs> your mommy will assist you. Um, we'll all go to God individually now in prayer. And let us pray. Let us thank God for the grace he has given us to see another wonderful day. And Victoria, you did not take your Bible so that you can learn the verses that Daddy said you should learn. I took it. Besides, I have written it out on this small cardboard sheet so that I can memorize it anywhere I am. Oh, please help me to write my own too. Okay. But... Who will help you read it? You cannot read by yourself. Auntie school will help me. She loves you, Jesus. That's good. Can you imagine? See how ugly that two scopper's legs are, and she's still wearing mini skirts. <laughs> <laughs> now you sad, you. 
it is not the leg that makes me laugh. It is how she always keeps on saying, um, um, um. <laughs> do you notice her hand say? It seems like a toy. She knows how to do Sakara, but she does not have to try. Miss <laughs> Oli Oli, where are you going? Hi. Hi. I just want to leave here because you are seeming by talking about someone else when she cannot be there to talk for herself. My mother said it is called slander. Both slander and mocking or making jest of someone are seen. <laughs> Look at you. We go to church. Come to this place, Joe. Yes, you can. I need a Bible concordance. I want to check up some verses from the Bible. Oh, sorry, I do not have one. There is one at the back of my mother's study Bible, but she had traveled. What of your daddy? <sighs> my daddy, do not let him hear your voice at all. Why not? Is he not a Christian? My daddy does not allow me to talk with boys, so please go quickly before he asks what am I talking with. Why can't you try Sister Toria or our friend Sister Blessing? I've been to both places, neither of them is me. I'm sorry, Tayo. I pray God will help you. I must go now so that neither you nor I will get into trouble. <laughs> Sunday school teacher. Ah, Peter does not live here. He comes here in the evenings. Do you know his house? No, sir. And that is how it's very, very difficult to describe. Oh. Besides, he works in the bank. And he normally gets home around 9 p.m. That will be too late for me to come out. Thank you, sir. Hey! Yes, this boy, come. I've been calling you since now. I'm sorry. You got problem? Yes, let me see. You go and see Pastor, he will help you out. He's in the office. Do you think you will be ready to have a small boy like you? Oh, of course. He's a kind man. He attends to anybody that has a problem. Go and see him. He attends to anybody, even people that are not members of this church. Go. That is his office, though. Ah, Tayo, I'm happy to meet you. I've heard so much about you, and uh, I've been praying for you. Me? Exactly. Have a seat. What can I do for you? Yes, sir. I need the Bible concordance and a commentary. Bible concordance and a commentary? What would you do with those? I want to use them to study my Bible. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Beautiful. You see, boys of your age uh, are brought here. Uh, the, by their teachers or parents to complain about one misdeed or the other. Or they come to uh, complain of one financial need. I'm highly impressed, Tayo. I'm highly impressed. It's very good of you. Um, okay. Excuse me.
That's interesting. If you sit at the table there, and I will help you with anything you need, okay? Anything you do not understand, call my attention, I'll help you. Okay, Tayo? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Ah, Sister Cordelia. Oh, wonderful. You couldn't have phoned at a better time. Yes. The boy just left my office now. He is just the right person we need. Ah, uh, well, yes, yes, yes. I will put everything in place. Thank you. God bless you. My regards to Brother Martins and the twins. Uh, grace and glory. God bless you. Bye. It is nice of you to take me to your Bible club. Do you think your Bible club banty will be willing to help me like our pastor did? I'm ready to answer some of my other questions like our children's pastor did. Sure, she will be more than glad. Isn't promise going? He is still upset that he was suspended in school for what he did. What did he do? I'll tell you later. Let's go. I hope that's not my don't know you are eating. I thought you were supposed to be reading your Bible. And so what? That does not mean you should eat my don't know. Hand it over to me. Are you too canny? No, ma, I will soon be true. Be quick. Don't waste time. Okay. Mm. Oh, God. Who is that? My dear, what is the problem? You look so unhappy and dejected. What can I read on by peacefully in this house? There are so many distractions. My dear daughter, Bible reading is not what you do in a place where there's a lot of movement and distraction. Your room is a much better place than the sitting room. If you don't want to use your room, you can use your daddy's study or another quiet place. Okay, ma. I'll finish that of today's own here, and as from tomorrow, I'll change the place I use. That's very good. I need to go back to the kitchen to complete cooking. Don't waste time. Be quick. Okay. Zacchaeus stood up and said to Jesus, Lord, I give half of my things to the poor. Half of my things to the poor. Does that mean half of my fine dresses, my shoes, my toys, my computer games, my food, and everything I have? Ah! I cannot do it too. I just say I should try this Bible club stuff and see how it is like. Ah! I don't like it. I was even living at peace before our Bible club auntie taught us all this stuff. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon, Bala. You are back? Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Oh, Bala, come. My secretary in the office said I should give you 
An email. Email? Who could have sent me an email? Oh, you, you. Yes, is it? You take it first, read it, and when you read it, you will know. It's Danjuma, please stop. You came at a good time. I was completing my preparations for the Bible Club, and you can be of great help to me. Victoria, please put these materials on the table over there for us to prepare for our friends. Blessing. Please get the cups from the kitchen for our refreshments. Peace. Please bring my Bible from the store. And uh, tie your... Wow! This is a very old Bible. Auntie, why is your Bible so old and old? Is it because you read it so much? No. I keep this Bible as a reminder of the need for me to study the Bible always. This Bible was my grandmother's Bible. She gave it to my mother. My grandmother read this Bible till she died. When she was dying, she gave the Bible to my mother, who kept it for a very long time. When I grew up, my mother gave me this Bible. And I keep this Bible as a reminder of the need for me to study the Word of God, the importance of studying the Bible. There's a daring, precious book, though it's worn and faded now, which recalls those happy days of long ago. When I sat at mother's knee with a hand upon my brow, and I heard her voice in gentle tones and low. Blessed book, precious book, on thy dear old chest and leaves I love to look. Thou art sweeter day by day, as I walk that narrow way, that is at last to thy glory to my book. Wow, it's a dear and precious book. Sure is. Oh, welcome, Bukumi. Favor, promise, and uh, Gideon. Gideon, you're welcome. I'm so glad to have you. We are now set for Bible Club and we can continue. You are welcome to the God's Glorifiers Bible Club. We believe that God wants us to glorify Him with our lives. What does that mean? That means, Gideon, that we must mirror God with our lives. Our life should be a mirror of who God is and what He is like. It means to make God great by behaving as a child of God everywhere. It means to show that He is important and wonderful by being obedient to God, parents and leaders. How can one do all that? When Jesus lives in your heart as your very best friend, you will be able to glorify God. That is what I don't understand. How can Jesus get to live in my heart? For everyone who accepts Jesus as their best friend, Jesus lives in their heart. He saves us and makes us his own friends and children. You see, God loves us all very much. He loves us so much that he has given us every good thing we need. In fact, God loves us so much that he has also prepared a place for us in heaven. That place in heaven is a special place for all his children. The Bible tells us that the streets of heaven are made with gold. And that is why this color represents the gold, or it's yellow and also represents gold. The streets of heaven are made with gold because God loves us. Unfortunately, our hearts are dark with sin. Everyone, all of us have sinned and cannot stand before God. But God did something special for us. <laughs> that is Peace's favorite part and should be the favorite of each of us also. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died 
on the cross, was buried and rose again. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all our sin. When Jesus washes our sins away, we become whiter than snow, whiter than wool, and whiter than as Antimesis white paint. That's right, Bukomi. And when we have asked Jesus into our hearts, and our hearts are cleansed, we become what God wants us to be. I have asked Jesus into my heart. I came because I want him to come into my own heart. I have been searched for my sins since Victoria, Tayo, and blessing told me to allow Jesus in and become my immediate neighbor who intends to bring me. That's good. The Bible says that angels rejoice over every sinner that repents. And I'm glad you have asked Jesus into your heart. Is there anyone here who, like Gideon, would like to give your life to Jesus Christ today and let him live in your heart as your best friend? Okay, favor. Stand up and sing the song together, Into My Heart. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Amen. What next, Auntie? How can we glorify God? This green color represents growth. You need to grow as a child of God by studying your Bible and praying. How, Auntie? You need to study your Bible and pray and obey everything that the Word of God says. Auntie, that is not him. I know God helps us through His Holy Spirit to do what we cannot do. Well, I need a lot of help. I, I made up my mind to be like Ezra, to read, study, and teach God's words. But I, I'm not finding it easy. My mind. It's okay, it's okay, Tayo. We are friends. Go ahead and share with us. We may even learn from your experiences. My big brother disturbs me whenever I read the Bible. The other day, he insisted that we go fresh water. I followed him. When we got back home, I realized that there were plenty of water. My mother even rebuked us for going out before it was bright to fresh water. As if that was not enough, he picked up a fire. <laughs>
I said, get up or I'll kick you. Uh, now, wow. Hey, you want to slap me? Sorry, it was a mistake. Sorry, call. Sorry, me. Do you even have the audacity to take my Bible? Give it to me, John. At least you are not using it when I took it. You are still sleeping. I did not know who took my own Bible. I need to read a English Revised Standard Fashion before reading Shire's good news. So what's my business with that? Are you trying to tell me that I took your Bible? I did not. Now, put that Bible down and listen to me. Ah! She a buy a pig for nothing. You thought you need to get Bible. I will tell them. Shut up your mouth. Who, who do you call Agbaya? Am I Agbaya? Ag, the fight started. That is beats both of us. I felt ashamed for fighting with you. But it is rather to me. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. You are still angry. It is a normal part of the Christian life to face temptations. But you must not be excessively angry. Ephesians 4, 26 states In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun come down while you are still angry. It's not fair. His brother was not kind. Should he just look up? Yes and no, Gideon. He should have reported it to Jesus Christ. And Jesus would have taught him what to do. Besides, he could have told their parents to talk with Bible. But does Jesus know how it feels to have a brother that seems kind? Certainly he does. Let us look at Mark chapter 3, verses 20 to 21 and 31 to 32. Bukumi, please read Mark chapter 3 for us, verses 20 to 21. And Victoria, you read the other two verses. When Jesus went back home and once again, such a large, large crowd gathered that there was no chance even to eat. When Jesus' family heard what he was doing, they thought he was crazy and went to get him under control. Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone to call him. A crowd was sitting around him. And they told him, your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Jesus' mother and brothers went to meet him where he was teaching people God's word. They thought he was mad. They thought he was not in his right senses. And so they went to look for him, to get him away from what he was doing. But let us see what Jesus said. Jesus said, he is my mother and who are my brothers? Then he looked at the people sitting around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone, anyone who obeys God is my 
brother or sister or mother. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 also tells us that Jesus was tempted in every way as we are, but he did not sin. Auntie, was John tempted to eat or drink? What did you not eat or drink? He was. Open your Bible to Matthew chapter 4 and read verses 1 to 3 for us, promise. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. The Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert so that the devil could test him. After Jesus had gone without him for 40 days and night, he was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, tell these stones to turn into bread. Satan himself tempted Jesus. But what was Jesus' response? Promise read verse 4. Jesus answered, The scripture says, No one can live on food. Ah, uh, Jesus took out the Bible. Yes, he did. The only Bible they had then was the Old Testament. And Jesus loved that Old Testament. And he and others in his time took the Bible, the Word of God, very seriously. I wish I had taken God more seriously, like my sister. Would you like to tell us more about that? Well, okay. Daddy told us to memorize Psalm 1. And for brother promised to memorize Psalm 1 verse 16, but they did not do it. But I promise you will take your Bible so that you can learn the verses that daddy said you should learn. Don't worry, I will get one to borrow. I'm running late. Hey, say goodness. Goodness, wait for us. I saw some of my friends eating meat pie and drinking some drinks. I joined them without asking where they got the money from. Even though I knew that some of them still, our class is at Quarters and reported us to the headmaster. We are suspended because the money has been stolen from our teacher's wallet. In fact, a sum of 2,000 naira and his answer was stolen on the same day. My suspension was shorter than others. You are welcome. So what brings you home at this time of the day? I... I forgot. Look here, young man. Don't try to fabricate any lie there. Remember, he who covers his sin will not prosper. Tell the truth and receive the mercy and freedom that God gives. Which letter is this? And what did you do? I felt sorry and ashamed of myself. I would have obeyed God's it is a pity that you had to pay so dearly for disobeying God's word promise, but you can still have joy. God can still forgive you if you repent and ask him for forgiveness. You can forgive me when do I know the truth of disobeying? Yes. First John chapter 1 gives an answer to your question. First John chapter 1 verses 8 and 9. It states, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. May I pray now? Yes, you may pray. Dear Father, I am sorry for disobeying your word. I listened to wrong advice and ate the food as you have not eaten. I even tasted what they are doing in addition to salt drinks. Plus, money 
Just act well in the black lines. Please forgive me. I never know not to sing a girl's way again. In Jesus' mighty name, my Amen. I have learned a lot today. I have learned to check into the Bible to solve some of my problems. I have learned to forgive my brother. And I have learned to obey the Bible always. I believe we have all learned something or the other today. I believe we have all been reminded of the importance of the study of the Word of God and of following and obeying the Word of God. Let us sing this song to remind ourselves again of the things we have learned. Read, read the Bible, my friend. Study, study the Bible, my friend. For Jesus also was by God's word led. Read and study the Bible, my friend. Read, read the Bible, my friend. Study, study the Bible, my friend. For Jesus also was by God's word led. Read and study the Bible, my friend. Read, read the Bible, my friend. Study, study the Bible, my friend. For Jesus also was by God's word. Read and study the Bible, my friend. From today's on, I will do the will of my master Jesus instead of my own. I will do the, the will, will of the master. I will never ever delay him. I will do what he instructs me. Anytime and any day. Ezra did the will of the master. He chose only God to obey. He read and studied the word of God. I thought God has to do the same. It is time to take our refreshments. We will pray after we have recited our God's glorifiers verses and sang our songs. Who would like to lead us in prayer? All right, blessing, you will lead us in prayer after we have said our verses and sang our song. Let us stand up as is our custom to do this. Good evening, ma. Ah, good evening, Auntie Mercy. Good evening. You are welcome. Thank you. How was work today? We thank the Lord. It was another beautiful day with the Lord. And your day too? We thank God. He is oh, good. He is God. We appreciate your care of children yeah. and all that you are teaching them. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you too. Your strong support, your good example, and how you encourage the children and lay good examples for them at home. That helps our work and strengthens us and gives us success as we teach them God's word. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Have you seen Bala? No, ma. In fact, we missed him at Bible Club today, and that's why I'm here now. Ah, that is true. Hey, yeah. I forgot that today is Bible Club Day. See him. See him under the tree. He has been there since he came back from school. In fact, he hardly finished his lunch before he went there. I'm surprised he neither saw you or had you pass by. I will go and check on him, ma. Mm -hmm. I'll go and see him. Thank you, ma. I'll go and check on him. Bala. Yes, Auntie. When did you get here? Never mind. What's wrong? What, what? Why are you so engrossed? What's the problem? Are you okay? Yes, ma. I mean, no. All right. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. What's the problem? Bala. It seems you have read this email over and over so many times that you can almost recite it word for word. 
I miss my friend Danjuma. Mm. I, I, I wish I was in the relay race that aired last. I can understand. I can understand the feelings, especially with the sudden death of Danful and his father, the experiences of your friends in other school programs, debates, your former church, your former Bible club, and even the new schools your friends are in that you have not had the opportunity to visit. It is indeed worth thinking about. But you see, you can still have happy times with us here. Yeah? We are also your friends and we can have wonderful fellowship together. By the way, do you know the Bible is just like an email? Email? How? Just like this email conveys the feelings, the thoughts, the messages your friends wanted you to get, so also the Bible gives us the understanding of God's feelings towards us, His love for us, the messages He wants us to get, the things He wants us to do. The Bible is just like an email from our very best friend. Hello Kenny, how are you? You should be ready and on your way to the party. Are you ready? Yes, thanks. Very good. Your father asked me to give you this road map. He said you should follow the directions very carefully. It shows you how to get to the place. Am I to try there? Yes. I thought daddy would send a driver with a sign. <laughs> the place is not that far. Besides, many have gone before you. You can trust your father if you need a driver to send it to you at any time. The most important thing is follow the directions. Take good care of this road map and follow the directions. Okay. Have a nice time, Kenny. Okay. Bye. Bye. Who are you? And how do you know my full name? Everybody calls me Kenny. Never mind about that. You are going the wrong way. I'm going to my father's mansion. You have missed the way. You are about to enter the bush of no return. The bush of no return? Mm -hmm. How did I get here? I should ask you that. Where is the road map you are given? It is here with me in my hand. You were not given as a decoration. Follow it. Baba. Baba. Ah, oh, old man. Where have you gone? How can I find my way back? Baba, please come back. Please come back and show me the way back home. Huh? Baba. Baba. Baba, where did you go? How can I get back? Baba. Baba, please come and show me the way back. Baba. Baba. Ah, oh, Baba. Please show me the way Can back. Can you? How can what I get back? What is it? What's the problem? Oh, Which Baba? What is it? How did you get here? Where am I? Oh, I'm confused. Where is the Baba? It's okay, it's okay. Tell me about it, dear. Tell me about it. Bayo, can you please do me a favor? What is it? Can you show me how to browse and access things on the internet? Why do you want to check? 
I want to take up some things on Bible verses on the net. Why is it that you don't know more than Bible, Bible, Bible? Now tell me, why is it so important for you to read and study your Bible? It is through the Bible that God reveals Himself to us. So we know God more through the Bible. So it is important to read and study the Bible. I see. Will you please help me? I am busy. What are you doing? Something. And I can help you so that you can be fast. You are too determined. Leave me alone. I'm not going. It's too hard to follow the Bible. I can't give half of my things to the poor. That's why I decided not to come to Bible club. Kenny, you can still make it. All you need to do is to adjust and make amendments. Bible study is not that difficult if you will do it the right way. You see, Bible study is not a thing of chance. It is not something you do by gambling. It is something you do with a focus. It is not correct to just open the Bible, close your eyes, and point at the passage. Rather, you need to study the Bible in a focused manner. A Bible study guide will help you there. In terms of the difficult passages, passages you find hard to understand, if you use different versions and you read them, you'll be able to understand the Bible more. Hmm. I'll improve Please do. You should not have abandoned your Bible and your friends. Is that why I had that dream? I believe so. I believe God used that dream to call you back before you make the mistake of going too far in disobeying His word. I'm sorry, Auntie. What does the dream mean? I believe that the old man in that dream is Jesus Christ. He was calling you back from a journey that could lead to hell. Was the bush of no return representing heaven? Certainly. And your father's mansion that you were going to represented heaven. What of the road man? The road man represented the Bible, the word of God. The word of God is our guide that God uses to guide, to instruct, to correct, to direct our path. The road map is the word of God that helps you to know the salvation you have in Jesus Christ and what God wants you to do and how God wants you to live. It is the direction, the manner of the road map you must follow. Thank you, Jesus, because you really love Yes, he surely does. Certainly, God is good. Let me leave these things with you. This is a Bible study guide. It will help you study the Bible. It will help you understand Bible truths about salvation. Read it. It will help you in your Christian life. In addition to the study Bible your parents gave you, I want to leave this good news Bible. You know your study Bible has a concordance, some commentaries, some cross-references and all that. I want to leave this good news Bible because the English is a bit simpler. That will be of help to you. Please do not abandon the road now. Do not leave that guide that God has given you. It will help you when you get to difficult words to understand the Bible. And at the next Bible club, let me know how things go. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Let us pray together. Father, I thank you for Kenny. Thank you for her life, her parents, and the thing that It is nice to meet you again. But as far as I'm concerned, it's not nice to see you. Good evening. I, we are just leaving where you came. Did I offend Gambo in any way that you know of? First, you became a very trust. And then I want to take over the Rosala Cafe. And there's no telling of what you will do next. I don't know anything whatsoever of what you are talking about. 
I want to be with peace with God. She, I want you to help me and teach me how to do some things on the internet. I want to check up something. Uh, ask Gambo to help you. I will help you, Mr. Bible. But you first allow me to use your first 30 minutes on the internet to chat and look at some pictures. Can you please help me without attacking any street? I have just the money for 30 minutes. Perhaps I can benefit from the picture you want to look at. I will make you start looking at pictures that will make you start preaching at him again. Let us start from your brother, by your fall which you need to do. You disturb us, stupid, foolish boy. You are not asking us to help us to check something on the internet. I will say allow us to use your first 30 minutes to check what you want to do. Let's go gamble. Why do you have to watch so many dishes alone, Tayo? Oh, promise. I don't see you. Welcome. Why don't? Why do you have to watch so many dishes alone? Ah, I want to help my brother. Normally, he is to wash for lunch and I wash for supper. So I don't want mommy to beat him. I want to help him. Would you do such a thing? Why do you have your own responsibilities at home? I read from Galatians 5.13 this morning. Who says, serve one another in love. Will you even serve a brother who scorns you, fights you, will not help you, and is busy playing boy in the field while you work yourself to death at home? Yes, Jesus went to worse experiences. No wonder. My dad says to be a friend to you and learn from you is good. And Victoria is even a much better example. I learned a lot from her. Okay, by the way. She said I just thank you for your visit the other time, that she also will come and to congratulate you on your award and sponsorship. Which award? Which sponsorship? You mean you don't know yet? What is happening? This is a Congratulations, Sayo. We came to rejoice with you. We are proud of you. We are glad to be associated with you. Congratulations, Sayo. Congratulations. Please pray for me. You are very blessed. Your life is a testimony as a result of what comes in faithfulness, in Bible study, and obedience to God's word, despite all lords. But I tell you, help me to buy something as you are going. Will somebody tell me what is happening? I am confused. Am I doing it? Auntie Mercy, thank, thank you. you. We thank, thank God. We thank God. Congratulations, ah. Mercy. Ah. Congratulations. Ah. Eh? 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 Thank you, God. Ah. Eh? 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 Ah. Sister Cordelia, you will like the boy. You mean it? Yes. I can give you my word that it fits in into all the requirements. Like a round peg in a round hole. Is that so? Exactly. The family is not rich, but is very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. In fact, he came first in the common entrance examination and that was conducted for all intending students to secondary school. He came top. Outside that, he reads his Bible often, he prays regularly, and much more than that, he loves the Lord. That's the most important thing, Pastor. I trust your judgment. Thank you. So, behind 
salad sabun eh okay salad sabun okay sir So that's the little sister. <laughs> oh, what a lovely little sister. What's your name, my dear? Shannon. Oh, a lovely name. Good. Are your parents in? Daddy is nothing. Mommy is dead. Okay. How about uh, Kaya and Bayadi around? They are at the backyard. Daddy at the backyard. Um, maybe you just wait for me here. I'll be back in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Look at my life now. My brother is so blessed. Look at how people are rejoicing with him. We don't even know the extent of it all. But we are certain that something great is happening to him. It's really something great. Only God knows our information spreads so fast. I never knew the dream I had was about Tayo. Oh, this life is even more beautiful than that full show now. Tayo, it is interesting that your well wishers got to know and got here ahead of us. Sir, I am still at love. I don't know what they are congratulating me for. I think there might be a mistake somewhere. No, there is no mistake. You have just won the scholarship award of Beautiful Feet Ladies Bibles Club in Texas. What does that mean? I don't understand. <laughs> Tayo, what that means is this. You are the only boy chosen in Nigeria to get his school fees paid to the university level by the Bible organization Mrs. Oga belongs to. Me? Exactly. University? America? Oh, thank you, God! Uh, you mean I won't be sent home for school fees again? Never. In fact, you are going to be attending a school better than the one you now attend. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. No wonder you told me in your word yesterday that my days of mourning are over. But Pastor, what did I do to deserve this kindness? Hmm. Hmm. Tayo, God saw and sees your love for him. Your love, persistence, commitment. He has rewarded greatly. I must tell you this. Many make decisions, but never, never carry those decisions through. Mm -hmm. Your decision to study, I mean to read, study, practice.
teachings and even teach the word of God so faithfully. God has said it to the world. Kayo, Mrs. Oga has more to tell you. We have followed closely your life and commitment to Bible study. And by extension to your school work. In fact, my group have decided to give you a Bible dictionary and concordance and tickets to spend your next long vacation in Texas with us. Ah, thank God. Ah, me. And me, me, This. But what about Sister Toria and other faithful members of the Bible club? Hmm. God has their surprises wrapped up for them and it will bless them in due time. What of my brother, Brother Bayo? I love him. JJ, oh. <laughs> if only I had known. If only I had known. I need to apologize to Tayo. You see, I have an opportunity to return. Oh, Gigi, you said it. You said it. You said I will regret. Now, the upcoming thing is now the beautiful thing. And I'm says, the loser. Bible says there is hope for a tree that has been caught. As long as his roots are still in the ground, he can still shoot out. You mean they're still for me? Yes. God still wants to be your friend. Make him your friend and he'll make a difference in your life. Okay. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for Bayo at this moment. I pray you come into his life and forgive him all his sins in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Help him, Lord, to do your will at all times, Lord, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Help him to study and read your Bible every day. Ah, I'm <laughs> <laughs>